Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. Today I'm going to be vlogging. Um, I'm going to go get my microneedling treatment done on my face again. And last time I did this, I did a vlog. So I thought I would go through it again and kind of show you the healing process of the microneedling treatment. What's up guys? I'm realizing this video is like almost an identical to the last time I got my microneedling treatment. Sorry if you can hear my AC. I just went to the gym. That's why I'm all sweaty and I live in Arizona. So it is too hot to turn it off. But I just went to the gym. I went to the chiropractor earlier. I didn't record because that's kind of boring. It was just relaxing. And now I'm going to get a coffee and go shower and go get my microneedling treatment done. I'm going to shower right now because after I get it done, she does like this enzyme peel. Uh, I'm gonna ask her for more details so I can update the video, this video. And uh, I can't wash my face for 24 hours, so I always like to shower and everything, and then that way I, I don't have to worry about washing my face, and then I just plan to stay inside the rest of the day when I get it done, um, so that I don't get like dirt on it because my pores are really open from the needling, and that way I don't feel like I need to wash my face. So I'm just gonna be doing a lot of like cleaning and decluttering uh, my room, and I might record that, I might not. It's a little hard to do videos like that when I'm recording on my phone. Um, but I will see if I if I can manage. So, uh, look at my wonderful mask acne. But that's all right. It's all right. It's temporary. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. Hey, guys. So I haven't checked in since I got my treatment, and um, so I have it done. And she puts this um, just like calming oil on it that I'm supposed to leave on for the 24 hours. So that's why I'm all shiny. Um. My face isn't too red. I think my skin is kind of used to it now because I've done like six treatments, microneedling treatments, and the last two she did RF needling, um, which is just like a frequency within the needles. It's like a little deeper and more of an intense treatment. And she does a vitamin peel that's like all natural, so my skin does peel after this. Um, from the actual peel itself, not from the needling. So I'm hoping that the peel kind of lifts this, these dark spots, because I think this is melasma uh, from hormonal changes. That's what she says it is. And they just like popped up out of nowhere. So she said the peel will lift it, or at least lighten it. So I'm excited for that. And I gonna curl my hair right now so I can look a little more put together for work tomorrow I just like rock my skin like this if I have to do anything else like honestly guys no one cares so if you're thinking about doing this treatment and you want to like schedule it out for work or something like just rock it who cares you know it's like a topic of discussion I tell people that I'm getting a microneedling treatment then they ask me about it. Some people don't even notice um, until I like bring it up. So just a little tip, just do it. If you're worried about work or something, like no one really cares. And if they do, they got more problems to look in within themselves other than your face being red or peeling. Um, but I put this mirror up in place of my old mirror and there's a lot of things going on in this room. I decluttered a bunch of my clothes. Um, but yeah, my skin's looking really good right now. It's not even red. It used to get really red, so I don't know if she didn't do it as deep this time, but I will show you my skin um, tomorrow in the morning and then how it looks at night again. Good morning, guys. I just woke up a little bit ago, so I wanted to show you my skin. It's not that red. You can kind of see that it is a little bit red, but it's not really that bad and it's looking good. She extracted all of the pimples I had from wearing a mask and yeah, so I think today and tomorrow my skin will kind of basically just look like this and then I will start to peel from the little vitamin peel she does. It's all natural so it's safe to do with the RF needling she does with me um, but she definitely has like perfected her technique with that so I don't know if that's 
the peel on top of the needling is like a common practice for a lot of estheticians. So um, I would be sure to talk with whoever you're getting your treatment done with. And if that's not something they feel comfortable with, then that's actually pretty normal because uh, my girl has been doing it for a long time and she's it's like all natural so she's played with it on her own skin so that's why she does it like that and she does it for me because um i had a lot of dark spots and it kind of closes up my pores which is on why i'm trying to get the microneedling done i don't know if the sun is showing but yeah i'm really happy i'm excited for it to peel and for my next treatment in October. I really hope these come up. I think they will. And yeah, so I'll show you my skin later on. so I this is day five I think I missed yesterday just because I was really busy I had work but my skin is basically all healed up I mean I have my acne from the mask but that's fine my melasma seems to be lightened a little bit but my skin's like almost fully peeled it's still peeling a little bit here from the vitamin peel and then I think my skin's pretty used to the microneedling, so the redness went away like yesterday, it wasn't that red, and today it's looking good. I just went to the gym and like washed my face and put moisturizer on after, and yeah, so if you're thinking about getting microneedling treatments, the very first, like first and second time, my skin was really red and it took a long time to heal and it was just like a big old process but now my skin is pretty used to the needling so when i get the treatment done i can like go to work and kind of just continue my daily life and it's not like a whole week of healing it's really like only a couple days um because at first i was like oh my gosh like if i it's like a full week of this every time it's like kind of deters me from wanting to do it but as I've done it, I think this is my sixth treatment or something, my skin has gotten more adapted and the treatment is still effective, it's just like my skin's like getting used to it. So just keep that in mind if it's something you wanna do for your acne scars. Um, it definitely helps like smooth out the skin. Like my skin's gotten way better, like my forehead used to be way worse and now I really just like have my temples as like my problem area. Other than this acne from the mask, but you know that's temporary and yeah so that's kind of where I'm gonna leave this video off at and I will probably record the next time I do it just so you guys can get an update on my skin I'm pretty happy with the results and then your skin heals like two to three weeks after your treatment so it's an ongoing uh, process when your skin's like building new collagen and everything so um, I hope you guys, like, uh, maybe got some value out of this video on the healing process, some information, um, kind of so you know what to expect when you get the treatment done and how many days it'll take for you to heal. So I definitely encourage you guys to do it if it's something you're considering. Um, just know that the healing process will get faster and faster, so it's not like you have to etch out all this time from your schedule to accommodate the healing of your skin because it's not always like the most fun experience to not be able to wear makeup and go to work when your skin's all red well thanks for watching this video guys i hope it brought value to you and i will see you guys in my next video